Hey, what's going on? I have the 83 inch Sony A90J behind me. Did a cool unboxing video, you should definitely check that out. But today I'm actually gonna install it on the wall with two other 55 inch OLEDs above it, an Xbox Series X on one side, a PlayStation 5 on the other. I'm gonna stress test the mounts, show you what's up, and then play some video games at the end, watch some HDR content, and tell you what I think about the entire project. So, gonna be pretty cool, I'm excited, so let's do it. We need one for the PS5, one for the Xbox, and then one for the watching movies. So if you wanna play PS5 in the morning, like you gotta have all this stuff connected. The two TVs are 28 inches tall. We're gonna have the big one down here, and then we'll have to figure out what we wanna do below it. Cause there's, right now we have nothing for below, except for a dog. And then we'll have the PS5. I think, I don't care which side it goes on. Which, you like the PS5, so this is on this side, right? Go on my side. The PS5 <laughs> is on her side. The X Series X on my side because she only plays the PS5, so that's fair. And that'll look pretty cool. I mean, we don't need three TVs, but like, why not, right? All right, anyways, I have the mounts. There are some mounting dream uh, full motion mounts for the 55 inch TVs. And then as I said before, I have a big Santa's mount for the big one. So in order to know where the 83 inch is gonna go, I have to get at least the mounts up and mark out where the bottom of each of these TVs will be. So I'll measure these up, get them ready, mark, and then I'm gonna put the brackets in the back of the TV, hang those mounts, and then we'll, we'll talk about the big TV next. So here we have the center of the smaller 8H, the center of the Vizio OLED, and then this will be the center of the big 83 inch, and then we'll be able to put the PS5 there and the Xbox Series X there, and then the big TV will have an Apple TV as well. I'm gonna break these mounts out and get them on the TVs. Both of these TVs already have lights on them, which is cool because it'll give a little ambiance to have the bias lighting. And we'll have to do that on the big TV yet too. I haven't done that, so that'll be cool. So I'm gonna put the brackets on real quick and we'll measure on the wall. One down. Bottom of the TVs right there, the 55 inch TVs will be right there. The top of the big one will be right here and it'll just be this massive TV right in our face. So now that I have the bottom of the TV in the center, we'll mark it up and get the mount up. So sometimes it can work to your advantage or disadvantage where the studs are. The studs are actually shifted a little this way, so all I have to do is basically shift our center of where the TVs will be over a couple inches. Not a big deal for the big one either, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shift it over. Center will be in here, same with the other TV, and then once I have those two TV mounts up, we can then center the other one. Pretty good. One down, two to go. Two 
Two down, one to go. All right, so the two mounts are up and I wanna make sure that this big TV clears it. So I'm actually gonna hang the two TVs, temporarily at least, just to see where they sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those two up and then we know for sure where the bottom of the TVs are. And when the big TV goes up, they won't hit each other because you don't want two OLED TVs or any TVs hitting each other. You want a nice clean line from the TVs above to the TV below. So let's throw them up. Caesar, are you trying to help? Are you trying to help, dude? You gonna help me? Who's your job, You do a little puppy. All right, go, go. Move. This one's actually heavier. All right. Hopefully I did the height right. Eek. Again, a double eek. <laughs> that TV's a little shorter. I'm just gonna slide it down a little. Look at that, the bottoms are pretty darn close. Just have to level it out a little. You can always get up there and change the HDMI cords and whatnot, right? <laughs> get on a stepping stool. That's pretty high, yeah. All right, well now we know where they're gonna go. I might just leave them up there while we're putting the other TV up, to be honest. For reference, I'm five foot. <laughs> so we're gonna have to think about uh, neck massages here. From <laughs> yeah, well those are just the up. extra TV. So mm -hmm. the main TV is still gonna be at good eye level, but these will be like, you know, gaming or football, basketball, gaming, you know, we'll figure it out. Steelers. Packers, Steelers, Packers, piece of cake. And then, well, one of them's gotta be in the big TV. We sure are not letting the kids use the big TV while there's football on. So mm -hmm. the more important football game on that one, the less important football game against like crappy teams on the other one, and then maybe gaming, right, we'll figure it out. Cool, well, thank you. Now it's time to put up the other mount below this so that that TV can sit right here. All right, so now we have the big mount. This is a Sanus mount. It's basically one of the biggest ones you can get from Sanus. You don't have to have the one that can hold 175 pounds, but since the TV is over 100 pounds and it's an 83 inch TV, I figured get the big mount because you wanna have fluid movement back and forth and you just wanna know it's secure. <laughs> yeah, this thing's heavy. very thin mount too so for how big it is to have it be this thin pretty awesome What's that? Hey. <laughs> no problem not doing anything here how's it going so putting this bracket on the TV is quite simple this is actually a 400 by 400 millimeter pattern the smaller A90Js are, I think, 300 by 300, so then you'd have to manipulate this a bit. All you have to do is line up these four holes on the, the visa mount right there, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna get that done real quick. Piece of cake. Okay, so I got the height of what the TV needs to be. So let me go through real quick because it's kind of funny actually. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and we can put the model number of the TV in. It's an 83A90J, so it pops up. It auto populates the actual model, which is cool. And so then it goes through here. And then it says uh, down here are the um, or what kind of mount, so then you gotta put the mount in, and I selected, it's the, the BXF um, 230, 
which is the big boy mount here. And then it asks if the holes are centered. So they're not centered, right? Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the holes are not centered in the TV. So they're actually lower than center. So we have to go to not centered, right? And then it asks you how far it is from the top of the TV to this hole here. So that's actually 18.25 inches. So I click on inches. And then it says, now let's talk about how you want to mount the TV off the floor. I'm just gonna do it uh, 68 inches from the top. So 68 inches from the top and I hit continue. So then it just does all the measurements for you. And it says 68 inches to the middle of the TV is 47, bottom is 25 and seven or three quarters. And so it says the top holes should be drilled at 49 and an eighth. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it shows right there a picture of kind of exactly how it looks because the mount is lower on the TV. So it has the mount, the TV, and I gave the measurements. So let's try it out. Let's see if it works. I'll double check it before I go because, you know, I don't want to have to do this twice. In order to get that number that I had gotten, I wanted the TV to be roughly 68 inches. So there's just a tiny gap there. I can even go like a quarter inch lower, but that puts the top holes to be 49 and an eighth. Let's just go 49. So I'm gonna put up the mount. Basically just have to find two studs in this entire area. It's pretty easy with this mount because it's 32 inches long. So, you know, technically you could hit three studs on it, but you really just need two solid studs. And then I'm actually gonna put some weight on it and show you guys how strong it is on the wall. And then we'll put the PS5, Xbox, and then light it up and have some fun. So there we go. Mark this right there. Mark the other stud there and then we'll get the bottom holes next. So now I'll drill the bottom holes, put those two bolts in, and then we can put the arm on. All right, that's on the wall. This thing is no joke. All you really have to do is hang it on. Hang it on and let it drop. So now the mount's up and we're almost finished. But I do have to put on these two brackets for the PS5 and the X-Series X and some game controllers. So I'm gonna put one on each side and then I'm gonna put four game controllers underneath it. And it looked pretty dope. So I'm excited, thank you, Hide It Mounts. I'm just gonna speed through the installation of both of these real quick so you can see the finished product. So we have the PS5 looking pretty cool on this side with the remotes, excuse me. We have the X Series X looking awesome here. Couple of OLEDs. Oh yeah, that's right, my wife is here. 
testing out the Santis mount. Looks like it can hold, you know, what, uh, around 100 pounds? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, should we get down and hang the big TV so that we can play some video games or what? Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? So tip it forward, switch hands. Tip it forward, keep going. T tip it forward more, babe. There you go, ready? One, two, three, up. Come your way, there you go, take your time. Okay, so I gotta rotate my, my, you have to go out more and I have to come in. There you go, that's it. Whoa, it's on, that's okay. it. <laughs> All right, we, now we just have to take the feet off, but there was no way we were doing that with the feet off and then try to balance it ourselves and bring it over here. So let's get the feet. Yeah, I gotta cinch it in place and all that, so. No, it's good, it's not going anywhere. Whoa. One little safety pin that holds it all together. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt, there. There it goes. Just like Ikea. Yep. Yeah. Ikea furniture. All right. 12 seconds later. What do you guys think? It's really cool. Kobe, what do you think? The TV is huge. <laughs> <laughs> and how. Aiden, do you like the lights like we said? The PlayStation with four controllers on one side. And then we have on the other side, the Series X in green. We've got Endgame, Forza Horizon 4, and Sackboy. All geared up for the family. What do you guys think? It's really cool. Everybody should be happy now. Are we ready to party? Yes. Let's, do it. Let's play some games. You guys want to give me a little look? Smile over here. Kobe, come on. Well, we have mostly happy campers. Well, this installation has come to an end. The 83 inch Sony A90J looks incredible. People say these larger TVs can be a bit soft because of the size, but I beg to differ. It looks quite stunning. We got Forza Horizon 4 up there, Sackboy on the PS5 on the right a Disney movie on the bottom, so it looks like I'm stuck watching SportsCenter on my phone still, so what are you gonna do? But it looks really cool. The X-Series X and the mounts from Hide It Mount look awesome. The PS5 controllers and Hide It Mount for that look incredible too. The TVs look really good. Um, it's a winner, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely smash the like button, it would be much appreciated. Subscribe and ring the notification bell if you wanna get more videos like this. And just remember, with a lot of skill, you can be the installer.